create a social network for for anything. <coughs> so we relaunched the product about three months ago and have already 60,000 plus networks that people have gone and built out. And you really, as a product manager, it's, it's been fascinating to see as we built the product out and anticipated how people would use this and we, and we put this platform out there and thinking through how we thought people were gonna use it and then you actually get it out there and seeing 60,000 plus networks spring up and doing amazingly creative things. We've got everything from um, a, uh, a site called Developist, which is a cycling group up in Chicago that's, that's really active, um, all the way to much larger networks like the, uh, the Dallas Mavericks uh, official social network is on there. It has thousands of people on it. The uh, CW launched a network for One Tree Hill, the television show, not my favorite television show, but a lot of fans out there, obviously. So you've got everything from these very small, family-oriented networks all the way up to large media companies embracing this platform. So I'm going to jump through here and create a, a social network in real time and show you how easy it is to do. So I'm going to pick a name here, pumpkinsfans.name.com. So I pick pumpkin fans as my URL, and I get dropped into a, uh, a flow to set up my network. Uh, it just has a few steps here. So I'm going to call my network um, Pumpkins Central. I'm going to let it be public and uh, put a tagline in here. Goes for fans. Share photos. And you can pick if you want an icon for your network. You can mess around with the settings here, but I'm going to jump through. We will let you, uh, for free, take off the name branding completely. You can customize the uh, the color scheme. You can pick a theme, or then you can actually pick a theme and you customize it further. So I'm going to I'm going to pick a default theme, and then I'm going to customize it with a couple images that I have. I think I have on my local drive here. Um, so I'm going to add a logo. and a background image for the header. And I did these beforehand just to save some time. And then I really don't like the, the pink text, so I'm gonna change that. And I don't like the lime green either. So I think that should be good enough to show it off here. I'm, I'm gonna leave the Ning logo on here, but when you, when you set up your network, you can decide what you want to do with it. So here is where you, as people are joining your network, you can ask them questions and you can make them required or not. So for here, I'm going to leave hometown. I'm going to say favorite song. You have a minute left. A minute left. Five minutes goes past. Um, I'll remove the rest here. I didn't change the answer. Though. So now I'm ready to go. So I've got my features, got my appearance, profile questions, and my about, and then I'll launch it. And if everything works as I planned, I've now got my Pumpkins branded site. Um, now from here, to get going, you can quickly upload photos. You've got a music player here. So all these modules will not show up for your members until you actually put media into them. So. I don't have time to do it, but you can quickly upload MP3s here, put any photos you have, any videos, and then those are available to um, all of your members as you invite them to join the network. So this could be a public network, it could be a private network, but it really lets you create, instead of joining someone else's social network, you can create your own and uh, add your personality to it and decide what you want to do with it. So that's, uh, that's a look at the product. Happy to answer any questions you have.